And I mean, people can't, like, social worker can't talk to me and shit. We went on a little bit. And I mean, I think it's all about maturity because when they got older, they stopped doing that. And I mean, they just, they got alone, man. So, I mean, they get alone just fine now. But back in the day when they first got together, and I mean, they used to be all, hell, you break out. So, yeah. I think yeah. about maturity, man. How, how your relationship evolve and stuff, man. So, basically, that's yeah. my opinion on that. I can I can see that now. That's some real shit you're saying, cause you know anything can definitely happen. Like we, I don't I don't never say that it's the end of all ends. It can always change and get better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it could be like you say, people may be young at the time what they're going through. They really don't know nothing about themselves, so they really can't know nothing about another soul. You know what I'm saying? So it can definitely get better. But you know we definitely like we we definitely looking at the reason as to why it's going on and what's happening what's happening as a result of this so at least so people can know that maybe if they think about this shit first you know what i'm saying they can work it out within themselves and know try to and know, know know more about themselves and know about who they're dealing with and um and, and avoid situations like this in the first place you know because so, you don't ever want to go through shit like this regardless yeah man but some niggas just ignorant man they just don't give a damn how other people feel so yeah. y'all put that part of expected too man they just yeah. Want to hurt somebody? You know what I mean? You're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Nah. That's that. why I say. I say now nah, some niggas just jump up and try to jump on your ass. Start fine. You I might said, need a little. You might need some assistance off that shit. I say, but you just try to pay attention. You might have recognized something before that. Before I mean, the whole too. They just want to call the cops on you just to get you in trouble. Just to get you in trouble. That's why we say just to do it for no reason because they mad. They using that as a weapon. Then it becomes a weapon against the nigga. Yeah, and the kids, too. Yeah, and the kids, too. Straight up real shit. Real shit, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. It go both ways, man. It, go, it do go both ways, man. You know what I'm saying? But ways. we we, we going to get into it. We're going we gonna to rock it. We got something for these fuck-ass niggas, too. We got the motherfucking cleanup campaign, man. My bad. It's the cleanup campaign, man. <laughs> well, all right, man. All right, give thanks for the call, Glit. Yeah. Yeah. Real Vision, you live, man. Grown man, real nigga shit, TV. Hello, Your Highness. What it is, folks. Hey, how you doing? All right. I love your show, by the way. I watch it. You know, I try to watch it all the time. Oh, it's Rami. It's hey, how you doing? All right, man. Good, thanks. All right. Time. Straight up, man. I, I appreciate uh, it. I had a question for you. I try to read the Bible all the time, you know, whenever I get a chance to. And because uh, you guys were talking about revelations, I'm just curious. Um, how long is the period of time that the whole revelation thing is going to be happening? Is it, is it a month? Is it a year? Is it an hour? I was just curious, you know, and thank you for the answer. Oh, okay. Straight up. I mean, uh, to get into it really, like, you know, it's a, it's a point that we're able to see when the revelation time began, but far as like to wrap up the ending of it, um, I would say that really no soul really knows the ending of it because it basically it's a revelation. It's something being revealed until and, uh, the amount of people that's supposed to get that revelation got it. And when they get it, it's sealed up basically. So no man really know the hour how it end off. But we able to track to where the revelation time began. And it began, like we say, with the coronation uh, of the king of kings, the lord of lords, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. And that's Ethiopia, right. you know, that's that's where it began because it was showed the real the, the fulfilling of the prophecy, and, mm -hmm. and, then, and then it got revealed because the revelation in the Bible is also basically a microcosm, basically of you, and you got to go through your own revelation in your life. They reveal exactly. the truth to you. That's what it's really trying to show. So, however long it take you to get that truth and get it revealed to you, you get it. But the king, basically, when he came and got crowned, he break, basically broke the seven seals of the mind to get it revealed. You know, open it up. Open the knowledge and wisdom up to show everybody out here royalty, man. Everybody kings and queens. That's right. That's, That's what it's right. really well, about. Well, I appreciate your time. You all are doing a great job watching it all the time. Hey, man. Well, we give thanks, thanks man. for the love, man. Give thanks for the support. Right. And give thanks for the call, Robbie. Blessing. Blessing. Right. Bless. Yeah, man. It's Real Vision. GMR and STV. What's up with you, Bob? What it is, what man? You do? Oh, man. I'm chilling, man. Yeah. Man, I, I'm not able to tune in to y'all tonight. But I was wondering what the topic is tonight, bro. Oh, okay. Well, um, the topic for tonight we was really talking about was um, how how hoes be calling the um, crackers on their niggas, or how bitches be calling the crackers on other people randomly, like outside like, people looking outside in people. that don't really, they ain't even a part of your family. They just see you doing your thing, 
and they might feel like they need to call them boys to check on you or something. Yeah. You know, for just no apparent reason. Just because basically it'd be a lot of hate jealousy envy spitefulness going on yeah you know it's like it's just, it's just something that go on in the hood and we wondering why is that behavior going on when we bring in and they bring in the outside party and uh we really tracing it to see what's the end results of it to see if it's good or it's bad that's right that's right i feel that that's the little kids right there yeah you know what i'm saying yeah Straight up, that's and that's what we getting on. Cause like I say, this shit, it's a lot of shit going on. Like far as like in the black community and amongst niggas that no, we don't got our show to voice these things. This is this is day to day life shit that's going on, and the problem keep happening. And nobody addressing the shit. The only way you are gonna get a, a solution, we gotta at least get it out in the open and start discussing the shit. Cause we trying to improve the day to day life. We just ain't trying to talk that theology shit. That's right. That's right. And then man, when the when the girls call them folks over there. As soon as the folks get there, they automatically point the finger at you. Automatically. And you might not even be the source of the problem. You can just be, like, like you said, you know, you could be mm -hmm. not, you know, the person could not be agreeing with you at the time and they get mad. That's another scenario. You know, mm -hmm. you could actually be doing nothing. They might just want you out at the time. Mm -hmm. So they're going to call some reinforcement to get you out of there because they don't really know how mm -hmm. to rationalize and calm the situation down themselves. Mm -hmm. so, so they, they call need, somebody else. They need to call the mediator they, like in they, there. No, they friends, like yeah. assistants. Yeah, they call them like they they homies, but they ain't really there to mediate. They call them to get you up out of there. Exactly, that's what it is, because it's, it's not even, they, they can't calm the situation down. The situation might be even calm down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's not calm down to their expectations of how they want it to be calmed down. Mm -hmm. Exactly. People, because people ain't patient. People, they're thinking about themselves more. They need to just calm down and, and try to talk. And if somebody ain't willing to work that shot like that, well, you probably need to move on. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You can't rationalize between each other. Some motherfuckers just going to be ignorant. Like Khalid say, let them be ignorant then. Yeah, you're supposed to be in a relationship with somebody. You got to relate to them. Y'all ain't relating. Fuck just, it. Exactly. Yeah. The hell with it. It's miscommunication somewhere along that line. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, man, but look, this is the first time I called into your show. Mm hmm But uh, I got much love for y'all because I've been checking y'all out. Oh, okay, straight up, Appreciate man. What that, your name man. is, man? This is Ron, man. I'm, this is uh, Black Prince, Big Brother. Oh, okay. Where okay. you off from? What city you in? I'm in Cali, man. Ooh. Yeah, straight all up. I'm in Cali. Cali. Hey, man. give thanks for the call, Ron. We give thanks for the love, man, all the way from Cali calling in, man. All right, man. I'm going to holler back at y'all, you know what I'm saying, when I can tune in and see what... Get more on the topic, you know what I'm saying? For sure, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, Anytime yeah. we be on here live yeah. every Tuesday at 11 p.m. our time. That's probably about eight eight o'clock for you. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna throw that show up on YouTube from last week. I, my bad. There's a couple delays on that, but it's gonna be up on that tonight. The first four parts. I had the three parts tomorrow. We're gonna throw this on in a couple of days, so we're gonna keep this real yeah, shit going. Try to try to get that one from last week up on there, man, because I was trying to call in last week, but I couldn't make it through to you. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. we, we gonna have some the first full parts of it, because it's gonna be seven parts on YouTube. The first full parts gonna be on there tonight and by the morning. All right, right. All right, straight up. Give thanks, Ron, for the call, man. Y'all brother, stay up, man. All right, bless it. Right. Yeah. Real shit, man. Y'all boys on the real vision, man. GMR and S T V. That's what it means, right? Well, yeah. my nigga Leo to Curtis calling in, man, just out to the real nigga to blow his own blood fleshy. Hold on, to Curtis. Hold on, hold on real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wrong man, real nigga shit TV. Hello? What's going on? I'm calling. Well, I ain't got nothing to do with the topic which y'all talking about today. My, my topic is about these police. Okay, all right. Hold on real quick. We Don't gonna, hang hold on. up. Don't hang up. We're going to be right back to you. Could you hold on for us? Did you hold on for us? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, okay. hold on. BP. Yes, right. Yeah, yeah. They, and they ain't talking about the gas, nigga. Hey, black no. royalty, black it's real French, my nigga. Right here. You see that king man back there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, that's what, it, that's what it is. Hey, man, I just wanted to call. I already know y'all boys put down that real, but uh, I want